Well, we'll be able to try out that Thorns Mantle and see how effective that is. I mean, with the damage reduction by 50%, I'll probably just keep swinging. Uh, the cost is 40 bucks. It was $40. dollars go open this so I have a shortcut. Just like souls. Let's see what's over this way first. I mean, solo it's not bad, but honestly, I could see the appeal of this game being a lot of fun in multiplayer. Like, playing it with a bunch of people, running around, killing stuff, fighting. I could see that being a lot of fun. Yeah, you're right, we don't, we don't lose resources on death. But aside from that, it's, I mean, it's very Souls-like. Obviously, you know, boss fogs, checkpoints. supposed to go this way yet. I don't know. I mean, I could, but I feel like I'm going pretty deep. I should probably do whatever the tree thing was first. Before I make my way through this, like, giant apartment. Fire Raid. What was the other one? Alright, so melee and then fire raid. Coherent tree language. Who's next? Oh, that was rough. Wailing wood destroy the evil tree. Tree's dead. Not much of a fight, but I'll take it. Heal on up. My Estus, I mean Dragonheart.
Yeah, it does have that that Dark Siders three post apocalypse, but humans are still trying to live. Look to it. Giant box and no loot. Uh, I fought a fog boss and like two mini bosses. I don't think I've fought anything that's considered like a world boss yet because they're supposed to drop weapons. Oh, were they? Pretty easy, I'd say. Hey, my I died twice to the fog gate boss. And then I actually just like played this pattern and came out pretty much without any issue. my health up to 25. Yeah, so far the enemies are definitely repetitive. It's been uh, the roly-poly guys, the explodey guys, the regular, whatever you want to call them, rot guys, and then uh, Besides that, there's been like elites, which are kind of rare, like the big guy that we killed that had the hand thing that was also essentially a copy-paste boss. Uh, the guy that teleports and shoots arrows. I mean, it's pretty early. Yeah, the level up system seems pretty basic. It's, it's uh, health, stamina, or melee damage. Check over here real quick. So far, it's really not that hard, though. Like, I mean, you guys are watching this. It's it's fun, but it does feel very easy. Like, I am just breezing through. Like, pop, pop, you're dead. Pop, pop, you're dead. Pop, pop, you're dead. All right, here comes something big. Shotgun, bomb, 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 you're dead. Which makes me wonder how it would scale with multiplayer, because, I mean, so far, it's it's easy. Easy. So, like, with the scaling, if I if I was playing this with friends, would we just be walking past, like, just blowing up fucking everything? I mean, it'd be fair, like, yeah, I have Souls-like experience, but... It feels like I'm just... Popping off everything. Very, very, uh, ah. simply. It's the jinx. I mean, I'd love it if it decides to challenge me. It's something I look forward to in games. I 
I mean, I did get the, the whole pre-order thing, which had a bunch of iron. But even if I didn't have that, I feel like I've collected enough that I could have upgraded the pistol anyway, which is the main thing I'm using, so... Not sure if, uh... If the pre-order stuff just, you know, maybe... Yeah! Or if I could have done this without it. Well, I like a little bit of stamina, but I, I agree. I don't understand the point in investing in, in a melee. Melee seems like a wasted investment. His guns seem just grossly superior. And melee, on the other hand, feels like it's more like a backup for when shit gets close. So far, I, I agree. Regular mobs are they're they're it's like target practice. I don't get lost. You can also since you can stun lock enemies like. Unlocking shit with the basic pistol. Like that's that's broken. Stay back. Every time you try to Like you could essentially just shoot something anytime it's getting ready to hit you. And it's like, nope, no you don't. Nope, you don't get to hit. Nope, you don't get to hit. Oh, you don't get the hit. That'll have to get patched. Heart seeker crit, I'm guessing. 100% crit chance against non-aggressive enemies and increases crit damage by 15%. So it's basically a sniper's wet dream. You just anything that doesn't see you, you can one-shot it. I don't know. I, well, there wasn't a difficulty selection at the start. It's one of those like we uh, we have the difficulty and so we go with. Oh shit! Burning hurts a lot. I didn't even notice my health was that low. No. Is 
some weird noise going on. I don't know if it's like a generator that's on. Hang on a second. Alright, so yeah, I'll, um... Where are we? Oh, that's right, we died fighting all that stuff. <sighs> oh yeah, it's the outside unit that's making some... Crazy noise. I mean, the thing is, it's running. It's running, but it's just like... And I'm like, that is not... That is not normal. Like, it's loud enough that I, like, heard it through my headset and paused the game to figure out what the hell was going on. I mean, everything's under warranty, so if there is something that fucks up, they come out and they're gonna repair it, but... Having a... Having an AC fuck up in the summer is... Obviously not fun. Nashville, Nashville's not as swampy as Louisiana, but it gets hot. Like today, let's see right where we're at today. Right now it is 90 degrees out, and it said it feels like 93 with the humidity, which is way too fucking hot. But I mean, it, it's it's spinning and it's running, so the the saving grace is that. Um, my office is in the downstairs half of the house, so even if the AC goes out, downstairs usually won't get that hot. Just because, you know, heat rises and all that jazz. procedurally generated. So, let me make so what I'm what I'm experiencing could be completely different from your experience. So here we are, remnant. That was wrong. God damn it! What the fuck? Why does that keep doing that? Now, if y'all fucking stop doing that shit, Twitch. It's like I have the I have the highlighting thing up because I wanted to to keep track of like time so I could break this up into YouTube episodes and Twitch is like, oh, you want to auto play this? You know what? Even better, let me just fucking mute it. Wait, if it wants to auto play, it's irrelevant. Then the. Oh, let me get sound back. Ah, yeah.
Is that behind? Retribution. Coming in with some love. Damn it, dude. I thought my health was pretty good, but that guy double tapped me and I was down. Down for the fucking count. to other Souls games, way easier. Yeah, get it! <laughs> um, I didn't see anywhere to actually pick a difficulty. I mean, go to options, gameplay, there's, there's no, uh, difficulty selection. Like I started the game and this is whatever difficulty it just gives you. There wasn't a, uh, you didn't actually pick one at all. Ah. Roll campaign, I'm also starting over. Uh, I'm in trouble. Game worth forty dollars. Uh, I mean, I'm having fun with it. I always say, "Is it worth?" Because like the thing is, I don't know what worth is to you. Like, you know, forty dollars is nothing to me. I make forty dollars in two hours at work. So to me, forty dollars isn't a thing. Yeah. I mean, if you only make you know eight bucks an hour. 40 hours is like half of your shift. sound is so loud oh yeah it is it is really loud just noticed shooting it let's, let's see if that's better how's that is that, is that a little I mean the shotgun shots are still loud but that looks like it may be 
little bit better tuned. I'll, I'll say this for for using 40 bucks compared to a typical game at 60 bucks. So far, I'm having fun with this. But if you only have one game to pick for August to spend your money on, I don't know if, if I would make this my choice. It's fun so far, but... It's kind of... Kind of simplistic. Pretty sure Astral Chain is 60 bucks, but that's also a big ass RPG. So far, the biggest fault to this game is probably the enemy variety. Yeah, I mean, you guys can see it just watching me play, you know? It's not like we're fighting all that many. Oh, what the fuck? Oh my god, what is this thing? Now that thing's cool. Oh, you can fuck right off, friend. Yeah. No! Fucking Thorn Man! What the shit? Fucking die. Cheap asshole. That was rough. Yeah, I'd say so. Guy was teleporting through gunshots Fuck that have anything I can heal with <sighs> how is it is it how is much better to record gameplay lowering the in-game sound or an OBS um, I prefer to lower in-game I mean it's ill it's the same thing either way you're lowering volume but I have OBS by default lowers all game volume by five decibels and then I will tweak the game audio on an individual level after that, depending on how loud or quiet a game is. Because some games, like fucking Heroes of the Storm, for example. Heroes of the Storm, not only is it minus 5 dB in OBS, but I have the game audio in HOTS turned down to like 20% of its normal value. Because HOTS is disgusting loud for no fucking reason. But something like this, I had to only turn it down to 60, so it varies a lot from game to game, and whether you're on PC or console, so I wouldn't recommend just, just blanket turning your audio down. Do I want to stay up or do I want to go down? And it all leads over to here, it looks like. <sighs>
No, I'm not going to play Borderlands 3. I decided that with it being the uh, most anticipated title of 2019, that, you know, so many people are going to play it, so it's just silly for me to play it. We are pretty early, I guess, like the second level. Ah. Almost to a checkpoint. I mean, I'm going to have some of this on YouTube over the coming days, and uh, we'll see where things go after that. 